Hello and welcome to a new styling challenge or styling experiment that I'll be doing for the next week. Hopefully this time actually sticking to it being seven consecutive days. But this time I at least have planned my outfits out in advance. So maybe, hopefully that will help. So if you've read the title of this video, I'm doing monochrome outfits this week. And this, this is not a great start perhaps, but let me talk you through it. I have put together one outfit for each day for the next seven days each being mostly one different color. So today is yellow or mustard, and then I have a green day, and I have a blue day, and I have a red day, and so forth. And they're probably not going to be completely one color, none of them. One of them <laughs> might be a completely one color, but different shades of that color. But the others are going to have mostly one color, and then some complementary added things added in. For example, this sweater. Or, for example, if I'm to wear this dress. This is a mainly red dress. I would count this as red, but it does have white and blue in it. But I still count it as red, you know? Either way, let's just start with this outfit. I am wearing these mustard trousers that I've had for a few years, and I have belted them at the top to keep them up a bit better. And I'm wearing this sweater that is navy, and then it has like a rust-colored red, and it has mustard, and it has green, and it has some blue as well, and the braids in between some of the colors are black. And you might go, well, that's not a monochrome outfit, even though it's the same mustard on these squares as it is on the pants, but I'm wearing a mustard top underneath. Now, if I was to just wear this top and these trousers, I think it would be too much mustard. I think it would be a lot of mustard. I do think it goes a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to look a bit weird. Also, the top isn't tucked into anything. It's just tucked into the pants. Usually I tuck this top into my tights, but I'm not wearing tights. And so the top keeps riding up and the pants keeps letting it, which is annoying. But either way, I thought it was going to be a bit too much mustard wearing just a top and the trousers. And I would have been cold. And I figured instead of throwing on a cardigan or a sweater or something with the primary focus to keep me warm, even though that is generally the primary <laughs> focus of a cardigan or a sweater, I went with one that actually kind of works or actually really matches, as opposed to like, oh, I'll just do a black one or I'll just do a gray one just to get warm, you know? And I think this really works. And I've been meaning to pair these trousers with the sweater since I got the sweater, which was January last year, January 2023. And I don't think I have until this point. And I actually really like it. I also don't know how well you can see this, but you can actually see the um, thinner sweater, the under sweater, the short sleeve sweater, peeking through at the top here. And it has this like scalloped edge um, frilliness going on. And I actually think it looks really cute. I think this worked really, really well. And I mentioned that I wasn't wearing tights, which would have helped to keep the top tucked in, but I am wearing knee-high black socks. You can tell that they are socks and not tights, and you can't tell that they're knee-high, but they are. I really like this outfit. I think it turned out really well. I don't think that the under inner sweater thing is necessary for the rest of it to look good. But for the sake of doing a mustard outfit, it just adds a little something and I quite like it. Like I said, I have other colors ahead this week. I have, let's see, blue, green, pink, red, orange, and purple are the colors I have. One or two may change along the way, but I have put them all together. I've put them into my tracking app and I've put them on days throughout the week. Some of them I am more intrigued by than others. And I think some of them will look better this looked great. This was a great leaving the house kind of outfit. And my problem this week is that I'm leaving the house six days out of seven. Usually I have Wednesdays as my work from home day. That is still true this week. But then I have the options of not going anywhere most weekends. Uh, and I can wear my, you know, questionable outfits for these experiments on the weekend as well. But we're going away both Saturday and Sunday this week. On Saturday, we're going to a dinner party for my mother-in-law, whose birthday is around this time of year. And Sunday, we're seeing some friends for game night. And it's friends we haven't seen in a long time, most of them. And I just feel like dressing up a bit for both these occasions. And 
I think maybe I've saved the best outfits for those dates, but I don't actually really know. So I guess we'll find out together. But I'm excited about this experiment. I hope you are too. And I'll see you with Mara's outfit right now. Here we have the outfit for day number two. And what an outfit it is. It consists of this sort of medium purple sweater with a bit of a boat neck and two buttons on the front or on the neck. And then it's paired with a dark purple skirt and a lighter purple belt. That's almost the same shade as the sweater. I visually love this outfit. I think it looks great. I think it's really flattering. Not that we care about flattering anymore, but I think it looks really good. It is comfortable. It is looking put together. It is a lot of good things. It's ticking a lot of boxes for me. However, I had two problems with this outfit. First of all, I usually wear this sweater on the outside of whatever skirt I'm wearing it with, even though I usually tuck a lot of things in. This sweater specifically, for some reason, I've been wearing on the outside of whatever bottoms I've been wearing. However, upon putting this outfit together, I realized that not only did the sweater have a very strange stain on the hem of it, which is really weird because it just came out of the wash, I haven't worn it since, and it looked a bit like it was lint, but it wasn't lint, and who knows what that was. But not only that, when I tried to get that stain out, I realized there was also a pretty sizable hole in the bottom part of the sweater. Hidden now when it's tucked in, you can't see it at all, that's great. I'm gonna try to fix that somehow, that's for a different time. But it was weird to have two things wrong with the sweater to begin with. But I figured, oh, I'll just tuck it in, it'll be fine, I'll wear it like that. Put the outfit on in the morning, went out to the car, sat in the car, heard a popping sound. I was like, did I just break a seam on the skirt? Had a little feel on the side of it that I heard the sound from. Nothing. It was fine. It was great. Later in the day, I realized that I didn't break the skirt. I broke the lining of the skirt. It is split completely down from the top to the bottom. It's a straight line of the lining being ripped in two, or a seam of it being ripped in two. And, um, oops. Now, this skirt is tight. It's a pencil skirt. It is quite tight. When I sit down and my my bottom expands, it gets tighter. It isn't really a problem, but apparently it was a problem when I sat down in the car. And it's another thing that I'll try to fix. But apart from there being problems with the outfit, like with the functionality of the outfit, aesthetically, I really, really like it. I think these two purples look really good together. The light is a little bit off because it's dark and I have a ceiling light on. But I think it goes really well. I think it's really good. And I would wear this again once it's fixed and not a problem and everything's fine. See you tomorrow. My outfit for day three is red and I'm filming this with daylight. What? It's a Wednesday. I signed off work early because I've been doing some overtime recently and I got compensated by getting to leave early today. And so it's 20 minutes past two at the moment. I signed off about 45 minutes ago and uh, it's daylight and snowing, but it's daylight and that's exciting. So like I said, I'm wearing red today. I am wearing this velvet blazer that I usually only whip out around the Christmas season. I mean, it hangs in my wardrobe, but I usually only wear it during and around the Christmas season. And then I'm wearing this dress underneath that I don't wear very often either, just like I don't wear the blazer a whole lot. And this is red with some white and blue flowers on it. I did sneak peek it in the first clip of this video, the Monday clip. I don't wear it a lot. I don't gravitate towards it. There is something about it that doesn't quite vibe with me. I don't know why. I don't know what. But today when I've been wearing it, granted for not very many hours, but perhaps even more so because this happened when I hadn't worn it for many hours, it hurts. Like this is a cotton dress. There is nothing to it. There is no zipper. There is no no nothing but it has a seam in the back like upper waist sort of and then side seams and then it has a seam down the front as well and the seam in the back is not pleasant it feels like there is something in the seam like there would be elastic or something but there isn't it's just a seam and it's quite uncomfortable and it's making me question even more if i should be keeping this dress since i a don't gravitate towards it and b when i now wore it I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think this works as an outfit. I don't think it clashed as bad as I thought it was going to with the red blazer and the red dress. I do have some other red things as well. I have the red sort of velvety skirt that I've worn a fair bit recently, but that is a much duller, more maroony type red. And I wanted to go 
red. But it works fine, I'm just not all that enthused about the outfit as a whole. And the dress, I don't know if it's staying. The blazer will, but it's not something I gravitate towards often. And maybe that's okay, maybe it can just be a Christmas item or Christmas season item, like a December item. Or I should pass it on and see if someone else wears it more. I won't see if they wear it more, but you get what I mean. Anyway, tomorrow I believe is orange. I can't check right now because I'm recording my audio on this, but I believe tomorrow's orange. See you then. I'm a little bit uncertain about how I feel about this outfit because I feel like it looks fine from afar. I like the silhouette, <laughs> but there is something that isn't quite vibing with me. So I really like the sweater. I think it's really comfortable. It's warm, but not too warm. I like the color, even though I don't think it's my color, but I think it looks good. And I like the skirt. It's a skirt that I wore in my styling a vest for a week um, video. I'll have it linked up here. I have worn a few other times as well. And I am still undecided as to what the color of this skirt is. I want to say it's orange, but then when I see it next to this orange sweater, like again, from afar, I think it looks fine. But when I step closer, it's also a different light in here, I guess. This, I guess it does look orange. It looks more orange on camera, I think than it does in real life. It looks more pinky peachy in person, which is like not the same as a sweater, which looks very orange. And I don't really know how I feel. This obviously is not entirely monochrome because there's white in the skirt and also, secret, I'm wearing a black tank top under the sweater for extra warmth. I kind of feel like the sweater and the skirt are different seasons. The sweater being very winter and the skirt being very summer, although I have styled it in other winter ways before. But the two problems that I described in the styling of Est video are still true. It is a little bit big. I haven't taken it in yet or changed the elastic in it. And it doesn't look like it's too big, but it does sag in the front and it would be better if it just sat there and stayed there. But with the sweater being quite thick and having this band at the bottom, it holds it up, which is nice. But also the skirt is see-through. And in my vest video, I put on a pair of gray leggings and a pair of gray socks to give cohesion throughout the see-throughness. And this time around, I'm wearing some black tights, some black stockings. And so it's again, cohesion, but it is very clear that it is see-through, at least it is to me, that the black of the tights and the tank top is shining through. And I don't know if it's as noticeable to other people. I don't know if it's inherently bad, but it is something I've been thinking about a lot today. But silhouette-wise, I think this is really cute. I think the midi skirt with the sweater looks really good. From afar, the colors work up closer, I'm not sure, but it's decent. It's not my favorite outfit of the week so far, but I do think it works. Let me know what you think down below, because the more I'm talking about it, the more uncertain I get about if I think this works or not and if I like it or not. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. <laughs> it is Friday and the outfit for today is blue. <laughs> I am wearing this blue dress, a long blue dress, it's like mid shin. I can't really show you because it's a bit tight to lift my legs that high, but it's very comfortable to sit and walk and exist in. I just can't do the splits, which I can't do anyway, so <laughs> it's fine. But it's this dark blue dress that I got last summer. I wore it in my Barbie core video, which it might not scream Barbie, but I wore it under a pink dress and it looked really good. And this is really the second time I'm wearing it. I really like it. It's really, really comfortable. It's very soft, both the fabric, but also the fit. Like it's not restricting in any way, apart from the aforementioned splits, but that's fine. And then on top, I'm wearing this blue cardigan that I don't reach for a lot out of all of my cardigans and sweaters. This one, for some reason, I don't reach for that much. It is one of my newer ones, but I don't know if... I don't know if there's a reason I don't reach for it, really. I did wear it in my Kathleen Illustrated style challenge video, if you want to see it in action in a different outfit there. And I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. I feel like it paired well with this dress as well. I feel like this looked good. And I could totally wear this cardigan with more things and more often than I do. So I should do that. I should remember to also reach for this cardigan and not just my other ones. Overall, good outfit. I like it. It's very comfortable. Tomorrow is green. Let's show you that. I am exhausted. It's about 11 o'clock on Saturday night and we've been on the road. Well, we haven't been on the road for 12 hours, but we left home 12 hours ago, went to see people and then came back home all within 12 hours. And it was really good, but driving is long. <laughs> I drove all the way there and then my husband drove all the way back and that was really nice. The original plan was that we were gonna stay overnight and then go see our friends tomorrow who live closer to my in-laws than they do us. But 
my husband has had to cancel that and so me and Teresa are still going to go tomorrow but then we need to come back home with the car so we can take the car tomorrow so I am exhausted right now and I am driving off again kind of soon not super soon but before midday tomorrow and I really want to go to bed but here's the outfit that's what I'm here to talk about not my day I'm wearing this dress that is a summer dress and I style it with this green sweater that I've worn it with before I think I've worn this in a video even I know I've worn it before and this dress is nice but I feel like it's getting shorter somehow it is too short for me to wear on its own in summer if I don't wear some little like bike shorts underneath which I have successfully done and it's more of a summer dress than it is a winter dress so wearing it with these thick fleece lined tights works but it is more of a summer dress either way it is paired with this dark green sweater that you've probably seen before if you've been here before I have worn it in many videos including but not limited to um wearing the app styling me for a week if you want to check that out it's linked up here and uh yeah it's a fine outfit I like these two things paired together but it's not a favorite outfit and like I said I feel like the dress is too short to be a summer dress but too summery to be a winter dress so there's that I am off to bed now I will wear my pink outfit tomorrow which is my final one for this video and hoping to film that before we go tomorrow but we shall see either way I'll show you the pink one right now all right here we have the final outfit for this experiment and already now well already now but now I can say this video is probably going to be a week late because it's 9 30 we recently just got home and I want to get to bed. So I have edited this video up until Thursday. I did that on Thursday evening, but I haven't done Friday, Saturday or Sunday and I'm not going to do it right now. So it's probably going to be up Monday the 19th, I think, something like that. Um, which is sad because I've gotten back into the, the consistent uploads again, but I'm going to prioritize sleep. So good job me. Either way, here is my final outfit, which as you can probably tell is pink and I am really happy with this outfit. We came home last night, like I said, instead of sleeping away and then I put this on in the morning and we went to play games and we were gone for not quite as long as yesterday. We left at 11 and we came home at like 9, so fewer hours than yesterday. But I have been really comfortable in this all day. It consists of a pink t-shirt, nothing special there, and then my favorite trousers that were in my favorites video for last year. I really love them, they're linen trousers, and just like I wore them in my vest styling video, I'm really recapping all my earlier videos, I'm wearing it with uh, knee-high socks, thigh-high socks, tall socks, and underneath the pants I have on little bike shorts for extra warmth. You can't see them through but they're giving extra warmth which is very nice. And then on top of the t-shirt I'm wearing this um, home knit I believe based on the fact there's no tag. Home knit wool mix vest in this lovely pink color that I really enjoy. It's like this kind of pink. The pink of the trousers and the pink of the cardigan is probably my favorite type of pink. Though there aren't many bad pinks out there in my opinion. And then I've just tied it all together with a belt because the pants needed that. So just a pink belt with some like embossing on it that I've had for a while and wore a lot last summer especially with these trousers. And yeah, I want to give this one like a 10 out of 10. I don't think I've been ranking all the outfits, but this is a solid 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. I love the pants. I really like the cardigan and I just feel like it looks really good and it feels really good and I'm really, really happy with it. I think this outfit might be my favorite from this whole video, but I'd love to hear down below in the comments which outfit was your favorite and why. And if you would try or have tried or regularly do monochrome outfits. This I feel is also like the most monochrome one, this and probably Friday, the blue one. The rest have all really had other colors mixed in. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon, so I hope to see you then. Bye!